Hey, Lashkey Kids and Driving Mutants, you are listening to KAB 1340 Antonio Bay Radio. I'm Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark, connoisseur of gore, and hostess with the mostest, and I just watched They Slash Them. A little disclaimer before I speak on this movie. I am a cisgender heterosexual woman. This movie features queer and trans characters. If I miss the context of any part of this movie, my people in the queer community feel free to fill me in in the comments. I'm super receptive to information respectfully shared. Now on to the review. Trigger warning. There is a scene that may be difficult to watch depending upon where in your journey you are. A trans character who also identifies as non-binary is verbally abused by a therapist. That scene could be quite triggering, so I would advise watching with care. I was a bit ambivalent about this because at first the trailer didn't make an impression on me. Mostly because I couldn't tell if it was meant to be a slasher movie or a supernatural thriller or what. The funny thing is, I don't think this movie knew what direction it wanted to go in either. But let me first talk about some things I really liked. Number one is the representation. I said earlier this summer in my live stream reviews of Chucky and of the Stranger Things series that I am digging the queer representation because I want younger queer people to see themselves in movies, TV, and pop culture. So I'm here for that. Also the casting. There were some actors that were acting their asses off in this movie. I almost felt like the actors were too good for this movie. I also liked the storyline and how it intermingled some true history into the storytelling. Where I think it fell a bit flat was not deciding whether it wanted to be a slasher movie or a psychological thriller. There were some great thriller moments with Kevin Bacon and the kids. There were also some slasher moments, but the slasher moments were very by the numbers and unsatisfying. There's nearly no gore, except for one kill. It's mostly cutaways and a shot of bodies with the amount of blood that you get in that little tube that comes with Halloween makeup. So for me, the psychological thriller elements worked way better than the slasher elements, but the movie didn't really fully commit to either. I think the character development was super strong, especially for a horror movie set at a camp. We rarely get to know campers as well as we get to know a select few of these campers. I kind of wish some of the other campers had a few lines. It was a bit odd seeing the plus size girl and the darker skinned black girl in the background, but they never had a line of dialogue. But there were trans characters who were main characters and that's pretty cool. One movie can't be all things to all people, but they could have gave those young ladies a couple lines. They also could have shaved off 10 minutes for a tighter movie. And the ending dialogue was a bit hokey and corny. But I like the campers so much, I would watch a whole series about them. I look forward to seeing these actors in more movies. This movie had a strong concept and even stronger actors, but ultimately a kind of weak delivery when it came to horror. At the time of this review, They Slash Them is available on Peacock. While it wasn't the best, I still enjoyed most of it. But don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it, and just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen They Slash Them? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, this has been Lady Shasha for KAB 1340, Antonio Bay Radio, signing off. Mm -hmm.